What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 45 of EggCast with John Egger. Sitting here with my good friends, Dom Fargnoli, a.k.a. Scuba Dom, and, um, and, and Sean Rain, EggCast returning regular. Dom, it's great to have you here, man. I've been, I've been, I've been trying to get you on this show. I've been thinking yeah, about thanks. it. Yeah, I've been, I've been thinking about it in my head, just like trying to find, because like, I really just try to think of like my most interesting friends with just like interesting stories. And like, you told me one time we were just walking, we were just walking in the hallway because like we, we all went to high school together, but I've seen you in some college classes. Like we've had a couple classes together, which is fucking cool. And like, we were walking in the hallway one time and you were telling me about your job. And I was like, yeah, yeah, like, where do you, where do you work? And you were like, oh, I work everywhere. And I was like, what do you mean everywhere? You were like, I travel and I scuba dive in golf courses. And I was like, that's fucking crazy. Like, yeah. and I, just, I, I was wondering, like, how, are you still doing that this summer? Do you know if that's still going on with, uh, with COVID-19 and everything? Well, given that, like, you're by yourself the entire time, like, I was living in my car all by myself the whole summer. Yeah, but, um, that's, wait, that really? You lived in your car? Yeah. That's I have a Jeep. Fucking... I just lived in, in my campgrounds and stuff. Oh, okay. But, um, I thought like I thought you like li- did you like live live in the jeep? Like did you have a trick yeah. out to like live in it? That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Well, basically, I guess I can preface by saying that um, I would like travel to the golf courses like on the East Coast and just mm-hmm. like I have a company that uh that gets contracts for it. Oh, that's and, awesome. Uh, yeah, and then like they get paid per ball, and so do I. So like I just scuba dive down and uh, collect all the golf balls there. Yeah, and yeah. that's dope. I, yeah, I did that all last summer. Like. <clears throat> It was, it was a lot of fun because, like, uh, just for the experience, and I got all, like, the gear and certifications and, like, got, like, a, my foot in the door kind of. Yeah, yeah. And um, so this summer, I'm, I might be doing that a little bit, like, if there's nothing else because that isn't an option with everything being closed right now. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I might be doing some, like, land surveying and GIS this summer if, oh, uh, that's fucking if cool. things go open up. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I'm definitely going to do some, like, maybe, like, a trip to Maine or something. That'd be cool, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, like, like a trip. You mean like, like for work? Like a work trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, Damn, I spent dude. like, uh, like a whole week in that uh, Portland area, like Portland, Maine. Yeah, yeah. And uh, sorry, and uh, we we were just living like campgrounds or like even Walmart parking lots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there wasn't any anywhere else to go. Yeah, I heard Walmart and, parking lots are like the place to go. Like they're yeah, like, where else but Walmart? Yeah, they yeah. O- they always allow you like to to park and sleep there. You see, do you see like other like other uh, car dwellers? Yeah, one time we were oh. we were in like Massachusetts. Like I, I worked with uh, two other guys that that also do it. Yeah, and yeah. we were in like a Walmart parking lot in Massachusetts. Like like just like hobos like sitting around like a little camp stove like eating beans. Yeah, and then yeah. I don't know where like a dog comes like running up. And we like look to the direction and like there's like an RV parked like in like the shadows and like this yeah. older lady comes out. She's like, I've just been traveling around. And we were like telling her like what we do and what she does. And that's it's just, cool like, you as just hell. meet like random people. Yeah, like, man, that's so cool. Sometimes. Like you have to use the bathrooms there. Or like yeah. uh, to shower, we would go to, we would get like, do like the free trials at gyms. Yeah, just yeah. And, like fill out all the forms. Uh, but we get free trials and then just get showers there. I was going to say, I heard of a guy, he was a, uh, he's a, he was a comedian, he's still a comedian and he was touring and he said that he used to live in his car and he had a, he had a 24 hour fitness membership and he, and he would just like go to the gym, shower, work out. He was like jacked cause like, cause they would, <laughs> he would always like be in the gym and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a, that's an even easier way to do it. Just show up and be like, can I like, free tri- first time free trial? And you just yeah. take, you're just taking a shower and leave. You're just, you just live in there. Yeah. yeah. You don't even have to put in your information. You can just keep cycling it to get free trials. <laughs> yeah. But like the job itself is a workout. Like, I don't know how much you guys know about scuba diving, but like you need like a weight belt to, uh, to so like counteract just, the buoyancy and all. But yeah. Okay. With this job, you have to be like on the bottom of the mud. Mm-hmm. Like it's like pitch black. You can't really see anything through the mask at all. Mm-hmm. And um, it's generally around 10 to 60 feet for the lakes. Yeah, that's more yeah. up north, deeper. Um, yeah, yeah. But like you have to like overload your, your – well, you have to overload your belt with weight. So I was yeah. wearing like 40 pounds around my waist on top of like the, the tanks. Yeah, and the, yeah. We have like – you have to make your own – bag container for the balls to put in and a full that's like 100 pounds like right there and then um so you, just to find out where you are because like you don't know where you are at all so yeah, you get yeah. to like swim up with all that stuff just like to poke your head above the water to like a frog to see where you are and then you have to like, go back down yeah just so you could so like, you get did, your bearings 
so I mean you're doing a lot of swimming and like you're pulling that weight up like yeah yeah do you ever see any like like crazy big fish or anything because I didn't know that the lakes were up to 60 feet deep that's really that's pretty oh, yeah. deep for a, for a golf course lake oh yeah some some of them were quarries that oh, okay uh, like there was one in uh like northern jersey I was at and it, it used to be a quarry and it was like close to 100 feet deep Damn. and um they have like an excavator at the bottom that they never brought up yeah I, I didn't go that deep because i was using the tank at the time but yeah, my friends yeah. they have i use sometimes they have a um like an air compressor it's mm-hmm. super janky but um yeah. it basically fo- floats on the inner tube in the middle of the lake connected to hoses to like your bcd and that's okay. what you you breathe out of yeah, and, yeah. Uh, th- theirs didn't go down to the bottom because it was too deep so i had to go down with uh mm. with like my gauge and see like how deep it was like i didn't even get to the bottom and i was at like 60 70 feet yeah damn dude <laughs> how long do those how long are you able to stay underwater and so like your um, gauge it, runs out? it mainly depends on like the depth so like okay. generally an average is like 20 feet deep so i could stay down there for like an hour or like hour and a half but i keep checking up just to see because like you yeah. can't look at your gauge because like it's you can't rely on that fully. Yeah, yeah. No. you don't. Like, you can't see. Normally, it. you have to constantly be looking at, but you can't. So um, you just have yeah. to keep going up and down. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I, I would get like a couple thousand golf balls a day. Damn. So like, um, have so like, what kind of like wildlife, like what kind of fish have you seen like oh, yeah. down there and um, stuff like that? In more clearer lakes, like man, mainly ponds. Yeah. You can see a little bit, like a couple feet of visibility. And normally, if, like, you just stand on the bottom, there's, like, tons of fish that come, like, right here and, like, right – because they We're see right the reflection it. in your mask. Yeah, yeah. They see themselves, and they get, like, interested, and they see the bubbles coming out of yeah, the regulator, yeah. and yeah. they get curious. So one time I had, like, <laughs> like 15 <laughs> fish, like, just surrounding my whole head. Yeah. Just, like, hey, little, check out those um, guys. <laughs> yeah, like, who's that? And, like, they were just, like, looking at – like, they were just, like <laughs> – <laughs> so, like you came you came to the wrong fucking neighborhood dude like, yeah literally. <laughs> you're in the wrong neighborhood motherfucker that's one ugly fish <laughs> there's uh snapping turtles you have to watch out one time I oh slammed, yeah i was like because like, you feel around like, on the bottom man. do you have gloves on or no gardening gloves yeah oh so, yeah you can yeah. you're still gonna yeah you're still gonna yeah, you're gonna get your finger chest off but <laughs> so i i was yeah. feeling around and i felt like a something like like a golf ball so i, I grabbed it and it kicked back at me, and it was a snapping turtle's foot. Oh shit! And the swim, Damn. I was like, "I'm you're gonna lucky. go away." <laughs> yeah, you're lucky it was his foot. Damn. I I remember we used to catch snapping turtles. Like we caught we caught one, and like it was it was just a regular snapping turtle. And like um somebody was like playing with their fishing rod, like like putting it in, in their mouth, like in its mouth and stuff. Like and like he put it near its mouth, and it bit it, and it just bit out of like the end of the fishing rod, like it bit through the. Oh through my the god! Rod. Yeah, they could yeah. they could bite like a broom handle. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, one time, um, so like with the you're like a jacket that the uh, the tank goes on, yeah, and then yeah. that's where you connect your bag. And yeah. one time I was swimming like it was a super shallow pond, and um, I, all of a sudden like between the bag I just felt like like a flopping. And yeah, the fish got trapped between my chest what? and the bag, and it was just flopping around. I was like, what does that like? What? Did you pull it out or did you go up for it? It, it, it swam away, oh, <laughs> but nice. I was like looking around I was like that was a fish. Like yeah. it got trapped. <laughs> That's cool. Like, is it mostly like, is it mostly just like small fish and like bass or do you see anything big? I just, I've seen some big fish in there. Just like, you don't really see them like close because like they yeah. can get scared. But like, yeah. even just like walking by, like looking in the lake, you see like huge yeah. fish to the surface. Far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Far away. Or um, a lot of leeches. Yeah. Ew. Like, sometimes they, yeah. Uh, because like you're like digging your hand like within like six to 12 inches of mud on the yeah. bottom of the lake so like this yeah. is the bottom and then the golf balls are like embedded down so you have to like really dig around and sometimes in the glove they slip in yeah so like sometimes i have like leeches between like my my fingers yeah yeah, yeah. And you have to like pick them off at least it's somewhere you can see it right away you know like yeah. on your hands or something so yeah, yeah we're lucky they're not somewhere else <laughs> one yeah. time like, one went up my wetsuit and i felt like a, oh, like a uh, sting yeah and i was like oh it's nothing so i just kept working and when I was done and I like lifted it up and they, um, they when they bite you, they leave like a circle shape with yeah. three little triangles in it. And I had a whole bunch of bites <laughs> where they, <laughs> what? that were in the same spot. I was like, oh, that's. That was from yeah. one leech? Yeah. They bite around. Oh. Damn. 
That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. One time, my friend, me and my friends, we would um play leech darts. I'm not even making this up. So yeah. when we're done, I'm like, we're changing. Like we have our wetsuit down because it's just super hot in the yeah, sun, and yeah. not in the water. And if we have leeches on them, you like take them off. And if you throw it at someone's body, they'll latch on. So like you can throw <laughs> it and what play darts, fuck? and they just yeah. stick to you. <laughs> Yeah, having like a like a leech fight, that's so fun. Yeah, yeah. Like we were like throwing at each other and they were just <laughs> Damn. I, yo, I wanted to ask you, what do you think is like the most dangerous um incident you've had happen like while do while doing that? Uh I was in Maine. I was on yeah. like a two week trip. <laughs> you're like you're like I was you're like I was in Maine. <laughs> Yeah. 60, 19, Once upon a time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, well, no, worst it, was stories. like it was the worst thing. Yeah. Um so this was when I was um I was using the hose system I was telling you about. So yeah. there was three hoses because there was two other divers there. And this lake was probably like 30, 40 feet deep, and my hose wasn't that long. Yeah. And so basically, like I was doing pretty good, and then I went back to get another bag to clip on. And I had all my gear on all my weights and I just had to, um, to just put my regulator clipping on, but the other divers pulled the buoy away, like further into the lake. Yeah. So it pulled, it dragged my regulator away. Mm -hmm. And so that it was floating in the middle of the lake. So I was like, oh, oh my I'll, God. Just, I'll just swim out and I'll just get it. And I learned my lesson. So like I was swimming out, I had like all my weight, I had my flippers on. And I was like, all right, I'm going to swim out. So as I was swimming out, they kept pulling it away. And they didn't. Yeah. They were super deep. And they were, yeah. like, pulling in, like, two opposite directions away from me. So, like, I, I finally got to the hose, and I was pulling it up because, like, the hose was floating, but the regulator sunk. So yeah. I was pulling it up from, like, 30 feet, kicking, trying to – because, like, I had all the weight on. It was like, yeah, my, body, yeah. my body wanted to sink. So yeah. I was just pulling it up really quick. And as I was pulling it up, it ripped off one of my flippers. Like one of my fins yeah and that, that was the only thing keeping me up because they really propel you so like i yeah. lost it and like i just dropped and i finally got the end of it so i was like like what? but at that point i was really really out of breath because i was kicking yeah yeah 60 plus pounds with just one fin on my yeah. right foot yeah so at that point like as i was like slowly sinking because i was like i couldn't catch my breath so yeah. i was like either because normally in that situation, you just drop down to the bottom and then you just catch your breath. And, and then, then you, you swim back up. And you swim back up or you, you crawl up the side of the slope. But I couldn't do that because they pulled out the buoy, the buoy so far, like in the middle of the lake, that if yeah. I were to do that, I'd drag the whole um, compressor into the water. So I wouldn't get water and neither would them. And they would. Yeah. Too. So I had to like let go of the only source of air I had. Oh. And I just had to just just swim up. So like I started swimming up, and at that point I was like, fifteen feet deep, and but I was like I had no air. So and yeah. still like struggling. And you exert more energy, like especially if you don't have a fin and all the weight on you. So yeah, um, yeah. So I ended up just having to rip it off. But and that's like, what do you do in an emergency? Because they're like, did you rip your weights and, off? Yeah. Okay. Like I had like, over like. Two hundred dollars of weights, and it was like a whole hassle. I was like, I have to do this. Like, there's nothing else, and this yeah. is all like in a second. And this yeah, lake, man, it's your life, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and this was actually like a crystal clear spring-fed lake. Yeah, so it was like the clearest like I've ever seen. So like I seen everything happen, and I yeah, seen like yeah. the surface all the way up there. So yeah, I had to rip it off. So when I did that, it dropped, and with me kicking with just the one fin, you know, wrapped around that. Yeah, the only fin I had. Yeah, and yeah. So I dropped even further because it was wrapped around my leg at the bottom. Oh shit! Yeah. So I just yeah. dropped another ten feet, and at that point I was I was underwater for like two minutes. Yeah. No air, and that's not good. Yeah. And yeah, um, so I somehow like I was like, like nobody you know came. Panic. No, nobody came to your aid. Like no one knew what was happening. They were thirty yeah. feet deep. They didn't yeah. know. And um, so I just dropped, and I was like, this is like how accidents happen so like so yeah. I, I was able to get it off and um swim to the surface and like i was just like laying there on the surface just like like yeah catching a sigh breath. of relief yeah dude, and um dude. i do not want to fuck with water water is scary <laughs> water is a scary um yeah I, scary being that was like the scary. middle of my of the summer so like I, I i was like in the hang of it but like i didn't really understand like the scope of it and like yeah. my friend they were yeah. like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Like, 
and I guess they didn't realize it. So they were able to go down and get my, my fin and my, my weights. Mm-hmm. And um, at the end of the day, we were like at the campground and I was just telling them again, cause they asked about it and like it really like clicked with them. Yeah. They, they realized, wow, that's like, I was like scary. Really yeah. Like, and no one was there. So after that, I like really respected like diving and uh, just proper safety. Like I shouldn't have went out with my weights on. I should have, yeah. because like with the wetsuit, like you're really buoyant. You couldn't dive down if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. And unless you had fins on. So after that, I realized like, I'm not going to do that again. And like, it really like opened my eyes with diving. So like, I realized I have to like really respect yeah. it. Just be it's, cautious. It's a real thing. And ever since then, I was like always like, super cautious and careful. And yeah, man. hopefully you keep doing that. Yeah, hopefully things stay the same way. But yeah, I'm glad you survived that. That sounds yeah. crazy. That's like that's crazy to experience that where like you get stuck in a moment and it doesn't happen, but in your head for a minute you think to yourself, like, this is gonna be how I'm gonna die. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was the thing, like and that's what made me realize like, I gotta You, you gotta do yeah, yeah. You didn't you didn't give up either, you know what I'm saying? You got through yeah. it. You know? Because yeah. it's all on you when you're especially in that job, like it's all up to you. Yeah, yeah. So you work. So what? You just work with like th- with like three dudes, and you all just like travel together. Um. So I work for this company called Hydroball Recovery, and they're okay. based out of the Pine Barrens. Yeah. And we have like ten guys on our crew, but um, we're owned by like this giant company in Texas called PG. Okay. And yeah. They're like the main golf ball recycler, and they're yeah. owned by Titleist. I don't know if you guys play golf. Yeah, title, yeah. We we, we actually worked. We 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 didn't play golf originally, but uh, we worked at a um at a sports store. Yeah, like uh, played against sports, and we learned um, a lot of we learned a lot about golf there. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, they're they're owned by Titleist, so I guess we okay. are too. Because like, yeah, we're not yeah. owned by them, but we're like so we're still work for them. So yeah, do, yeah, yeah. So, so um. So do you think Titleist, like when who? So when you guys get those golf balls, who do they get sold to? Like what? Where do they, what becomes of them? Probably just all, retailers, I'd imagine, right? Or, so it's I like a know. chain. So the divers, we get the balls, and the yeah. manager of my small company, he yeah. reports the numbers to PG. So they yeah. send him a check, and like according how many balls there are, and they yeah. pay the divers how much, like, like per a ball. certain amount yeah, per ball, yeah. and yeah. then they pay the course that we do per ball. Yeah. Okay. So that the course isn't just getting robbed. Like, yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's fair. For letting, yeah, us, yeah. for letting us dive. They get yeah, their share. Yeah. yeah. So then it's like a chain. So then from there, we ship off. We have to go to like processing and um, shipping yards and we like wrap the big pallets and um, then we send them off to Texas. And then from there, they like sewer and clean all the balls. And then from there, they send them to like Dick's, Walmart, Target, online. So and they refurbish so, them. So the balls become Titleist. Yeah, but they but they well no no like if we get Titleist like any know. boss like they they sort them by brand and and then they give them to retailers oh, like okay, Dex cool. or yeah then they 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 ship them off package them. so like force. if you were to go to Walmart right now which I don't recommend <laughs> for just golf balls <laughs> yeah um and if you get like refurbished yeah they they like, clean them up really well yeah you might see like a yeah. ball that says PG oh damn do they do they show like, do they actually like when they refurbish the balls? Do they tell people that they're refurbished, or do they market them as new as new balls? They sell. Them, they say they were used. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We were refurbished, like, depending on the brand. But, we, uh, we we had we, that. We had a lot of refurbished uh, golf. We balls, had yeah? we had one guy who'd come in. He would always trade in like he'd have them in like these Tupperware boxes you get from like Chinese takeout, and he'd put yeah. refurbished golf balls in there, and like we'd sell them as used, but they look brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they really clean them up. Yeah. Like, I wonder if I have, like, I have, like, golf balls everywhere. Like, my car has, like, <laughs> you, dozens. Yeah, I, I do, too. I... Have you guys, did, did, have you guys gotten into playing golf through this job or not really? Um, I played golf before. I played at Highland oh, for shit. a few years. Yeah. I didn't even know that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I played, feel, like, my feel... sophomore and junior year. Yeah. yeah. I didn't I, that's even a whole know, other story. I didn't even know there was a golf team until, like, I think my junior, senior year, like, See, I wish because, like, if I if I was in high school right now, I would one hundred percent be on a golf team. But back then, mm-hmm. I was like, "What the fuck? I don't want to do golf." But like now, it's like it's fun. Yeah, you know? that was like a whole thing. Like, I don't want to get into it now. I don't know your viewer base, but basically, um, 
my senior year, I was like, I'm done with that. So then I just did lacrosse and we were trash, but I had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah I was going to do that too, but I ended up finishing tennis because like all my friends, like we were all just doing yeah. tennis, you know, but like mm-hmm. I wanted to do lacrosse. Lacrosse would have been so fun, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I made some good friends with that, but yeah. um, back, back to what I was saying. What was, it, what was it like playing lacrosse? Like, oh, it was fun. We, we didn't know what thing we were doing, but yeah. it was just fun. Like you get to like push people over. I would have yeah. fit right in. Yeah, that's why I did it. it <laughs> yeah. Pent up anger. <laughs> but um, with the golf courses, um, like they kind of played like my friends. But anytime we were done, and like everyone was gone, we were just like we looked like frogmen. We were like in like black wetsuits with like everything yeah. like covered. Like I get covered in mud and algae mm. and swamp yeah, yeah. grass, like everything. So I look yeah. like the swamp monster. So like yeah. when, whenever we're done, like I found I found dozens of golf clubs because people yeah. throw them in when they're mad oh yeah i can and, imagine um, so like if we find them we have golf clubs so then we just we just shoot onto the greens with golf balls we found yeah just for fun. Like, sometimes they let us play like a couple holes but that's cool yeah yeah man i i've been trying to like get out there i started like i saw I, I was going to the um the um uh, driving range just kind of like right near my house and it's like i like it because it's a shitty driving range you know what i mean Valleybrook? like no valley brook valley brook is shitty too but but valley brook is also like expensive like yeah i'm talking mm-hmm. about um i think it's right next to the shop right on like yeah next to, road next to shop right i think it's called little pond, pond? little pond yeah little yeah pond. little pond's I, the fuck, my my favorite bro you show yeah. up there's like it looks like it's closed but there's one lady or somebody <laughs> sitting behind the thing the chinese yeah yeah, yeah, yeah chinese she's couple. super nice yeah, she's awesome, and like I I grew up in uh, Glen Oaks. Oh, okay, and I, I yeah. Would always, I would always go there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I I think I think I knew that, but like I'm not exactly mm. sure. But yeah, um, yeah, fucking uh, I like I'll go over there all the time, and that's super fun. You know what I'm saying? I did Top Golf a couple times. That's pretty fun. Have you guys yeah. done that? Yeah, yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's pretty cool. Yo, does every does every golf course do that? Like, does every golf course hire people to come in and like dive? Um, so we basically have to like do like a sales pitch to them. Oh, so you're sell like, so you're selling to them like to get the balls. We're like persuading them to let us do that. Yeah, it's like they don't they don't have to do anything. They just have to let us go on and like, yeah, give us yeah. like two golf carts, and then they yeah. get paid money. Yeah, but some people they want to um keep their golf balls for uh the driving range or they want to get them themselves but like they don't we have the equipment we have the certifications yeah and um a good amount like if you ask and if they don't already have it and they didn't know about it they most likely will like we have like over 250 courses yeah 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 like we i went all the way from south like the southernmost tip of delaware up to maine damn like some western sick that's cool, man. Like, what's it like up in like, like, um, like Maine, Massachusetts area? Like, is it different than around here? Yeah, like, it's a lot more woods, lumber yeah. forests. Um, you gotta drive yourself. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. my friend had a he has a van. And oh, like, that's just, okay. Yeah, carpool. Me and I like, just go in my own car. Do you yeah. guys? Do you guys like um. Like, do you all stay together, like, in the one thing? Or, like, do you, um, like, you like you guys will kind of just drive, like, as a convoy and, like... Um, sometimes, like, mainly, um, like, my one friend, he has a trailer. And mm-hmm. normally, two, like, a van with the trailer where we put the balls on. And um, so mainly two go in the van and then someone else drives. Mm-hmm. And so, like, an example was the one and me, we went in the van. And the other guy met us and we just followed... And one time I followed. Yeah, yeah. And um, we just go at the same, uh, same Walmart, same campgrounds, stuff like yeah. that. And then we, um, like one time in Maine, we were, we were about to work, and then we were looking for breakfast. Like we normally just go to a diner, but yeah. we found this like on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere, like in the middle of this pine forest. There was like this little shack on the side of the road, and it was like something, something's drive through dinner or drive through breakfast yeah and so you just pull in and it's like a little shack like picture a shed and you yeah. just put your car next to it and then you order breakfast and then this lady makes it for you like you park and then you yeah get it. and it was just one lady and she made like all these different breakfasts and it was really good but it was like i've never seen anything like it like eggs baby in the middle of nowhere <laughs> yeah what'd you yeah. what'd you guys get just like a breakfast sandwich yeah yeah, yeah. that wait so this was up in like maine you said 
Yeah. Like, yeah, just like in the middle of nowhere. That's so a lot cool. of diners. Yeah, I might yeah. check that out. That's yeah. like there's there's one place like in the Pine Barrens, like right before you start getting to like the real like heebie jeebie like hick type shit. There's one like little tiny pizza place, like right on the edge of the Pine Barrens. I forget what it's called. And then there's if you go the around that might be it, but I worked there. I know if you go around the side, is there a water ice thing? Water ice place? It's in front of a lake, right? Uh, I don't think so. But it's like it's like this it's like this little pizza place. And then if you walk around like it's like say you're walking in this way, if you walk around the corner of it, there's like a water uh, ice. There's like a water ice like stand. But um That sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah. But like finding those like finding those little those little places are always are always like interesting. Yeah. But I, I actually want to ask you, what do you think is like like because obviously you're traveling, you guys are living the van life, you're living in your cars. Like, well, like I'm sure you see a lot of drifters and stuff. What are like the what what is like maybe like the weirdest or craziest people like you've ever you've ever seen like traveling? Anybody stand out? Like, do you mean like when we're like not working? Just yeah, you know, just, just to find... uh, yeah, just trying to find a place to live. Uh not really. Like there were like some stories, obviously. Like one time we were in like, like Maine or Massachusetts, yeah, yeah. and um, we were at a campground and we were like checking in at the desk, and this uh, this guy, came, like this older guy, came in and he was just like looking around, and then his wife came in saying that um, like oh like he explained to us that she that he had um, like Alzheimer's and like he couldn't really remember anything, yeah, and he just wanders around. So then we we left. We were going to our campground and we were like pretty far down the road like driving and yeah. then we look around like we went to our side and the guy's right there he's just walking away yeah and so like i had to like run in to this to the, the front desk and be like oh, sir ma'am like your husband's like wandering and she had yeah. to go and get him and then the whole stay we would always like see him just wandering letting her know yeah. <laughs> where, he, where he is yeah that's that's a that, that's a sign of um alzheimer's i think yeah. My, I'm not yeah, sure. Maybe, maybe just fucking old crazy people do that, but my grandma does that all the time. Like, like my my grandfather, because my grandfather is like my grandfather is like a meme, just like typical, just like grandpa. You'd think just like mm -hmm. fun, like funny crazy grandpa. Like, and my my grandmother is a little older than him, and she's like kind of like she has dementia. Like she's kind of you know a little lost with it. And like sometimes like if he's not like paying attention or playing poker or on like the computer or something, she'll just like walk outside and go down the street. And and her be like where like and then like they'll find her like walking like all the way at the end of the street. She's like eighty, eighty one, eighty two, just out there like a soldier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like um, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of not stuff like that. Like, I think the worst person I met in the whole time doing that was the owner of this one golf course in like New Hampshire. Yeah. Uh, it was just like this super rude woman. Um, she thought she was like super cool. Like her car had like a custom license plate on it, like Hot Mama or something. It's a yeah, yeah. bitch bag. Yeah. yeah. And um, the course was trash. We yeah. were like walking around <laughs> the, um, in the lakes. Like we just walk around and take like, our wetsuits on just yeah. to feel if there's any balls like with our feet. Yeah. That sounds wrong, but <laughs> you feel the golf balls. No, and, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. There, there wasn't anything. We were like finding broken glass. It was like yeah. trash. <laughs> like needles. We, we just left. <laughs> and then like before that all happened, we were like just like trying to like work out a deal with her for the contract. Yeah. She yeah. was just being like super ridiculous. Like she wasn't making sense in her points. Just like being really rude. Yeah. Oh, was she making like, like a, a counter offer? Yeah, she was like she was trying to get more money for like less. Or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember. I, she I was, she was, she of was, course. Yeah, she was yeah. just. She was just trying to be. She was just trying to be a, a dick. Yeah, be cheap. Yeah. So then I think my friends, we were like driving around the course, and I think we were doing like donuts with the uh, the golf cart. <laughs> yeah. And on the course. Yeah. My my friend was like, never do it on a nice course, but on like crappy courses. Like, yeah, on a shitty one, you can. It's okay. There's no guidelines. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, feel free. There's no bounds. Yeah. There's yeah. some like super nice courses. I've been on like. My my family plays golf and like yeah. I tell them about some of the places like you went where like like there was one yeah. course um like down the shore like north northeast Jersey yeah and it was like so nice my, my I, I went there alone and my boss was like park in the uh, the workers like parking lot don't park in the uh, the main lot because like Mercedes and like super expensive cars all parked yeah, there and, like, yeah. my like muddy jeep 
on the yeah. fence. And, um, yeah, with the bed in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I had to go there, and um, it was a super nice course. Like some of these yeah. were crazy. Like one was owned by like a like a millionaire, I think, and mm-hmm. he he paid us by hour. So like once then that's a whole other story. But yeah, yeah. No, cool tell, it. Tell, tell it. Tell it. Tell it. Do so tell. there was like this millionaire or billionaire in Maine, and we were just like stopping by, and we were trying to figure out a deal, but he wanted to like keep the balls instead of selling it so like yeah instead of being a part of our company like as like in just regular people we get offered yeah. our services of diving and he was like all right i'll pay you by hour so um we were like checking out the courses and this one this guy because he's like i don't know why he did it but yeah. he recycles the water in the lakes and cleans them okay that's cool and that's, that's cool yeah like, that's crazy like, you, you can only do that like you're like filthy rich yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and he also had all the lakes lined and that's perfect because no mud's there like you do, the balls just sit on the bottom just like yeah. on like plastic sheets they just sit there that's so, so like, cool and we were going in there so is never... there still like fish and wildlife in there and stuff yeah yeah well i don't think there's a lot there's like thin loose algae but we were yeah. like just going in and like we were like what there was golf balls like everywhere like yeah there was probably like 50 in like a foot area. Like yeah, foot. yeah. And like you literally spread your arms out really wide, like laying on the ground mm-hmm. and just swoop <gasps> into your bag. Yeah, and yeah. he wanted three hours of work. And um, so what I would normally get in like three hours would be like a couple hundred bucks. So yeah. I was like, like on normal. So I was like, I'm not going to work more than what he's paying us. Like if he, just, if he was going to pay us per ball, I'd be like working, yeah, or like going to dust. But he's just paying us for three hours, and it yeah. doesn't matter how much we get. He just wants us to work. Yeah, he just wants our motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like after, so like I was like working really hard, and like after I got like what it would have been, like the same amount of money if I did if I got the ball yeah. for like an hour. I was yeah. like, I'm not gonna work anymore for my time because then I'd just be giving you lose, him free money. Yeah, you lose your incentive. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be losing money, and I'm giving him more. And I'd be not yeah. making anything compared to like if I was just doing it. Yeah. For ball. And the craziest part about that is like even if like even if he thinks that the balls you guys show are like a little bit short, like like he's not gonna go down there and check and be like, "There's way yeah. more." Where's way more? Know. He doesn't know like the standard for it. Yeah. But and but we got tons of balls. Like we we all reached like our quota in like an hour and a half, and we still had another hour and a half, and we yeah. were just like swimming around. Yeah. And yeah. We were just like picking on like nice and easy. Like yeah, we weren't yeah. killing ourselves over it. Yeah, that that was cool. Like, and then the guy never—he was being rude and difficult, and he, he didn't want to do a deal. Yeah, would have made so much money, but that's how that's how that's how rich people are, bro. Did did yeah. did um? Not that there's anything wrong with being rich. Like that's that that I everybody is. We all I'm sure we all aspire to be someday. You know. Yeah, everybody's like, different though. Yeah, but um, yeah, I was gonna ask you like, like since you see a lot of snobby golfers and stuff, have you ever had like any golfers give you guys problems? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, t- tell me some stories. Um, with me, one time I was um, I was just coming up to drop off my bag full, like, so many. So I was just like dropping off at the edge, and it's a little alarming if you didn't know anyone's down there. <laughs> And if someone comes up with like the mask, the hood, like, yeah, like, all you see of skin is just like, right here, and that's covered in mud. Yeah, like, the regulator mask, hood, everything, just yeah, everywhere. Yeah, and, like all this equipment on me, like, what the heck? Yeah, and especially yeah. if it's like I was like, covered in like duckweed. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you know what that is. It's just like yeah, like, yeah. I don't, yeah, it's, like, flat, but it's like it sits. It's like it's like little like leaves. They sit on top of the yeah, and they they pull together. So I was covered in that just moss and like algae. Yeah. So I look like a monster coming out, and like a guy, like every so many people start scared. Like, people they got scared, yeah, yeah. And, um, they weren't like mean or anything, but like they they always have like comments like, "Oh, like what are you doing them there?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, one like aggressive thing that happened. It wasn't to me, but my friend, um, like my manager, like for her own bosses, kind of. But he like organizes everything. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he I was diving with him in the same lake, and. He, he comes up and he said like a guy with like autism or something. Yeah. He like, he came up and he was looking and the guy was like standing with his golf club about to hit him. Yeah. Cause he got scared and yeah, he yeah. personal mouth. Like damn for nothing. I was like, 
really? And like the guy drove away on his golf cart, but like the, um, my friend was like, yeah, like I'm not like, tell the owner because that's not like, cool. Yeah, that's weird like, as fuck, dude. Yeah, I've, I've had some, I've had some, um, some dangerous incidents on, on a golf course. Like one time, I was fishing at uh, Valley Brook, and I was like 12, and I'm sitting. Like, right, they, they don't let that. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I was like 12, 13. And like, I was just standing there fishing. And I was I was on the edge of the, the public lake. So it's kind of like off the golf course, oh. you know, so you're not like right on the golf course where everyone can see you like you're kind of more to the side. And, um, and a ball literally, somebody must have hit a ball, it went th- this far past my ear, I heard it go past my ear, like, whoosh, and then it fell in the water and it made a huge splash. It was like, whoosh, and I was like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, mm-hmm. cause that could have, I was standing right. I was facing the water that could have hit me in the back of the head. I could have fell in and and drowned. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's, it's horrible. That yeah. is a, like a threat because like, if you think about it, all the golf balls that are there are there because that's a common place for golfers to hit their ball. Yeah. So when you're swimming down, there's a risk that golfers are hitting the ball right where you are yeah because people like if you are find like a jackpot of balls and you're like you collected them off that's the same spot that so many other balls are gonna they're gonna yeah. get hit yeah. so like that's always yeah. a threat i never felt anything under there but there's a thing called mucking mm-hmm. where basically you just kneel down like on the side of it and you just collect the balls that are like like a like a foot into the water yeah yeah but you're not diving like you just collect them it's slower but you still can make some money with it yeah, and that's yeah. like the most dangerous, because because yeah, you're still well, like when exposed. it comes to golfers, because like if they don't see you, if there's like a little ridge over, yeah, and they don't see you there, and they hit you, you're getting directly hit. I remember one time I was by myself, and you could, there was a ridge, and like for some reason, I guess they hit at the same time. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was just like just like just like bombs coming up. Damn, out of the water, yeah, like, yeah, super close. I was like, and like I had, I stood up, I was like mad because. You're supposed to see, and I guess they didn't see, but I saw yeah. them. So I was like, "Why didn't they see me?" And I was like, "Yo," and I was like, "Yo," I'm like, "Do you not see me there?" Yeah. Like, oh, I thought you were like a plant. I was like, "Are you serious?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he yeah. apologized, but I was like, "Gotta be careful yeah. next time." Like, I, I think I like yelled at the dude. I thought you were a plant, bro. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah that, that, bro, I was like, "Sorry." I think I was mad that day. I just flipped out with that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. I saw I because like uh, the golf court Valley Brook where like you know. Like I've been going over there, just like fishing and walking, and like doing some like skating stuff like that, just just because it's like everybody's going over there because like now that it's yeah. quarantine and it's the only golf course around that like doesn't have some like a maintenance staff there to kick people out. So like people have all been going going there, and uh, like I was I was there the other day fishing, and there was a guy, another guy there fishing with his wife and his kid, and the guy was wading into the into the one lake to like try to grab his his lure or whatever. But like he couldn't, he 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 couldn't step because it was too muddy. But that's beside the point. There was these two old dudes golfing up here, and like a lot of people have been golfing there because like, but it's like they all got to golf, but they got to walk. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But like these two old dudes were golfing, and the one dude hit his shot, and it started going straight for the kid, like straight straight for the kid, the mom, like in their area. And the guy was like four, 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 four. And the ball, like, just barely – like, it probably missed the, the child who was, like, a four, three- or four-year-old child by, like, maybe three feet, two feet. Like, and then and then uh, the guy the guy that was fishing didn't even know what the fuck the guy, the guy was saying. He's like, is that guy yelling at me? Like, what, what happened? They, nobody even – they none of them even saw the ball. Like, the only people that saw it were the golfers and, and me. And they, they, they didn't even – they didn't even know. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah man. Like, we always have to be super careful. Like, we have to like hide behind trees if we have to cut across a like a yeah. lane. Yeah, yeah. Because like people don't know. Like, every any person I ask, or like if they come up to me, that they, they don't know what I'm doing. They're like, "Why are you swimming in the lake?" Yeah, like, yeah. Trying to get like back. Uh, bi- business trip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Official business. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Damn, dude, that's so cool, man. That's such a cool job. Like, it'd be yeah. cool to find like like a cool job like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you get to see you get to explore a lot. You get to see a lot of different places. You never find weird stuff. You want to see something I found? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. It's right. Yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, Sean, how are you doing, man? I'm living, man. Living, nice. Yeah, I'm grand. Uh, have you have you broken quarantine yet, or have you still? Are you? Nah. You, you've, you've been going for a long time. 
Yeah, I'm on like a 45 day streak right now. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, All right, true. so with this thing I found, I was just like by myself again and yeah. I was just like feeling around and then I felt someone like really sharp and like cut my fingers. So I asked yeah. like, someone through glass. And yeah. I like, picked it up and I was like feeling it and it was like it was big and it just could be a big. I was like, what is this? And I felt like the texture. I was like, is this what I think it is? So yeah. I came up, I cleaned it up, and this is what I seen. Oh shit! What the fuck is that? Is that a? Sh- is that like a like a? Is that sh- a sh- I th- Damn! What is that? It's uh the back of a crocodile. Oh, that's so cool. Damn, and it's like smoothed down. Like somebody did. Somebody it looks like somebody made that. Yeah, someone um they cut the back of the yeah. alligator or crocodile. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they put epoxy in it. Okay. In like in the bowl, so it kept its shape. And that's then that's as a mounting cool. thing. Is that a baby? No. Uh, I don't know. Like I know it's not fake because like you yeah. just tell based off the texture. Based off texture, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's like really. But and this is all epoxy, but like there's like Damn, actual dude. dips in it. I don't. I don't know. It's always yeah. been confusing yeah. to me. Like I wonder I'm, how the. Uh, how did ahead. it get there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like, who who put it there? Like, what kind of story is that? Like, what's the story? Like, is it and like also, a and also, who, or something? Who, who did that? Who who just has that on them that they're like, oh, oh yeah, like, I'm gonna throw it in there. <laughs> and it wasn't like it was near what uh like, the pro shop. Like, it was like in the middle of the course. I don't know if that's like yeah. worth anything or not. I mean, I don't know. You never know. Cool, just a cool yeah. thing to have. Like, it's super. Odd. Yeah. yeah, I collect what, uh, alligator backs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. What yeah, a, that was odd. What other what other kind of stuff do you guys usually find? Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, clubs. Yeah. And like, the funny thing is, like, if you yeah, find putter, I can see that. like next to a lake, next to a tee box, yeah, you yeah, know that 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 guy that's backed with the rage. Like someone he, did a he bad shot, the bat. they went yeah. back to their bag and then they threw it. In. <laughs> yeah. Like you don't use a putter on a tee box, so. Yeah. So he was like, he was like, I'm gonna put my good my good club back. And yeah. I want a new. He was like, I want. He's like, I want a new putter anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've like, done I, that with fishing rods. Like one time I was fit. Like I don't get that way anymore. But one time I was fishing and I was mad and I broke. I broke my rod in half and I threw it in the water. Really? Like, yeah, I've done. Wow. I've done, done stupid shit like that before. I'm not even gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. Um, like one time I found like a couple like really expensive clubs. Like I sold them at uh like different like golf shops. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't tell them where I get them though because some mm-hmm. of them are water logged. Okay, yeah, it makes not sense. worth anything. So I just like yeah. I just have them in my garage. <laughs> yeah. You know, one thing that I think is pretty cool is that I I didn't like bring up and salvage, but this one course they were like, oh, like because so the pro shop was on the top of a hill, and at the bottom of the hill was like a little pond with like a fountain. In it. Okay. And um, so there was like there's like a legend, like a rumor, so that like like in the nineties. <sighs> In, like yeah. in the 90s um they had a shipment of like of kegs of beer, yeah, yeah and um like the workers were going and they dropped it mm-hmm. and it fell all the way down the hill into the oh, lake sh- oh, and no shit. one ever got it yet and it was like a brand new keg never opened and it's just sitting there and i think i found it but it was just completely buried like you yeah. would have to have like a, like a wrench or like a um like a tow and, then, and I'm sure the pressure the pressure down there is high, so like it's probably hard to move anything that's stuck in the mud. Yeah. 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 It's probably like impossible. Like you would have to. It, was, it would be a whole day job to dig it out and uh, winch it out. Damn. So wait, the keg. So wait, the keg rolled down the hill. Like, like, like. How did? How did? How did they get? It was just like, like rolling down. <laughs> did some was, was was some guy like take taking it out somewhere and it like fell or something? Yeah, like they were they were trying to bring it into the the pro shop to the restaurant. Oh, okay. And they had to go outside to to bring it in from the truck, and it yeah. fell out, and it fell down the hill. Damn it! <laughs> in, into the into the water, all the all the fish are like, yeah. <laughs> this, I think I, this this fucking guy. <laughs> like, I think like, I found it. Like, it's like the fish are looking at the keg like it's God, and they have yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, they're all like. <laughs> when I was like digging around, I think I found like I found like, you know the top part of the keg is like like yeah. the circle. I yeah. found that. I was like. Oh. Like, is this it? But like, yeah. it was just buried. Like, is this damn, the tap? Oh, you found the tap. So y'all could have yeah. y'all y'all could have hooked up the tap then if it was if the, if the top was sticking out. I didn't out. feel like the nozzle part. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought it was funny though. 
Yeah, yeah. That damn. Imagine, <laughs> imagine being like, imagine being like a group of fish. You're like, hey, what's what's wrong with Tony? He's been he's been fucking acting like an idiot all week. He, he keeps ha- he keeps hanging around that metal, that 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 metal, uh, that big metal thing. He keeps there. praying to the gods too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. Damn, that's so crazy, man. You get stuff. Yeah, a bunch of different. Yeah. Random bunch of, stories. <laughs> a bunch of different stuff stuck underwater. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I think I might wrap this one a little short. I think we might just keep this one short and sweet. I mean, unless like, like unless you guys have like anything else to add or like any any other stories, anything interesting. There is a little topic I don't I didn't really mention. Oh yeah, sure. So, this is like mainly based in um, like the history of golf ball diving. Yeah. So the origin of of us of like the the career was basically like that of like a pirate or like just like low lifes like yeah before yeah. there there was like professional standard golf ball divers were like thieves they would they would sneak into the courses and, and steal the balls and they wouldn't pay the course and they would just make they would sell it so much because they did I, it on themselves. I knew some kids who did that growing up. Yeah. So, but now. That like like I'm in a professional company and we have legal contracts and all. Yeah, there's yeah. Still a, there's a group of people called night hawks, mm-hmm. and they're just independent guys that sneak onto courses because golf course security is really bad. Especially so at just, night. Yeah, so they sneak I mean, in the yeah. middle of the night, and um, they sneak in and they just steal the balls. Like they have like their own lights, and yeah. that's like the most dangerous thing because you already can't see. But you can't orient yourself looking up because it's pitch black. Yeah, and yeah. they actually are the cause of golf ball diving being listed as like one of like the highest death rates in diving jobs. Yeah, I could imagine. And like regular regular divers, like it's dangerous, but if like you're yeah. safe, it should be okay. Like the, like the story you told earlier, if that happens at night, you're fucked. You know, yeah. like yeah. you have no no sense of which way is up. You know, exactly. Like, and That's, they're the cause that it has to be so like, considered like one of the most dangerous diving things. And uh, one time we were in a course in Maine. I will admit, and, Night Nighthawks is a pretty cool fucking name. Like, it is. It's super that, cool. That, that's pretty bad. They sound they sound all they sound badass, but like, but also, and, uh, what the fuck, Nighthawks? We should their their name should be like idiot divers or something like not something yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. They're not afraid to die. That's like yeah. you, that's like in Step Brothers when he's like, you can call me Nighthawk. Nighthawk. Like, <laughs> that's 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 all those guys like. <laughs> yeah, and um. But one time I was diving and my friend, he brought up like a 10 pound weight yeah. and he was like, that, that belongs to a night hawk. I was like, how can you tell? And he said that that course never gave permission to anybody else to dive. Mm-hmm. And like people wanted to, but they didn't give them permission. And so that must, that means that someone snuck on, they were diving yeah. and something went wrong and they had to cut their weight off. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's what that other like. Was. Yeah. Damn man. Crazy yeah. Stuff. That's like. That probably feels like such a stealth operate, like a because you're going in, you're yeah. basically going in and stealing, and like like you could be charged with uh, theft. And um, every, I think I don't know if this is true, but I was told that every single ball that was stolen counts as another charge of, Damn. of uh, robbery. Damn. So if you take like a two thousand, how many balls years is that out? And, out they, to? and they catch you, your <laughs> life, life, dude. You're never getting it's out like, of jail. They'll be like, yeah. they'll be like, yeah, you man. stole, you well, stole you eight for? million golf. Yeah, balls. yeah. They're like, oh, golf yeah, balls. convicted murderers. Like, I'm gonna stay away from this guy. Yeah, yeah right. your so cellmate, your, <laughs> yeah, your cellmates, like, um, your cellmates, like, I murdered my entire family. It's like, what'd you do? Uh, OJ. And also, yeah, I was see. It, he's like, you see, I was on a golf course. Like, no, no murderer is gonna like sim- <laughs> sympathize with that story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. They'll be like, what's a golf course? <laughs> like, nah, I don't even. Know. Yeah, it's like the career's like changing, but so uh, we're getting a lot of ground, I guess. But like I said, I don't know if I'm doing it this yeah. summer because like you I, might not have a choice. I mean, think about it. Who's yeah. who's, who's gonna be golfing this summer? Like. You know, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe it'll open back up and people will be allowed. But like the way I see it now, like, yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, I mean, yeah. with um, like I might be doing something else. <laughs> like, oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, I'm going for school, like you know, with the archaeology yeah. and remote sensing. But I'm also going for uh, GIS too. Okay, yeah. And um, I'm trying to get an internship this summer for uh, land surveying, and like a couple guys are like really interested in having me, but they just wanted me to wait a couple weeks to see how this virus goes and like yeah, yeah. i get in from with there and then 
I'll be able to be in the company. But, um, and that's what I want to do this summer for like, just to like, just it, that'll give me an in to what I want to do yeah, with, yeah. Um, with uh, GIS and all. But if not, then the diving is always there. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. man. Well, yeah, we're th- on the side too. Yeah, yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. Yo, so I mean, I definitely wish you the best of luck with that. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck with all that stuff. Um, before we wrap all this up, uh, do you do either of you guys um, have like anything you want to promote, anything like that, anything you want to like plug? Not really. No. Not really. No, nah, that's all good. I, I didn't. Not at I, the moment. I, I, I didn't. I didn't think. I didn't really think so. But I've been asking people that the past few episodes, just in case. Because oh. who knows, man? If you want to plug anything, like. Well, if anyone's interested in uh, watching a little bit of GoPro footage of the golf ball diving, I did attach a GoPro to my uh, oh, PC. Shit. Yo, dude, I, we can. I posted a little video on my Instagram. Oh, it's on your Instagram. Okay. It's like it's like thirty seconds a minute, but it gives a little glimpse. Like you Hold see, on, the wait, I it's think like a clear video. I think I can pull that up. What's um? Yeah. So uh, Dom four four five one nine. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot. I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, check that out. But I'm like, wait, we can just pull that pull that up right now. Let me see. What's your Instagram, Dom? It's uh, Dom four four five one nine. Oh, is it the the most recent video? Yeah. All right, dope. Yeah, I'm about to pull it up. Hold up. Oh, cool. Um, here we go. Share screen. Hold on. If anyone, if any, either of you are interested, they always want people to uh, do like mucking. You can make some money. Like, you, you get really dirty, but you could just yeah, get for ball. Shallows and get the balls. Yeah, that'd be cool. Can, <laughs> yeah, can that's y'all, a good. Can y'all see this? Yeah, yeah I can cool. see it. Cool. Yeah, check this. Check this out. Courtesy. Of Dom. Right there on uh letting the pressure get in or like adjusting yeah. the pressure in my man so sorry wait so is that so is this like um you're just going in from like from like the shore yeah that's a shot it's like yeah it's yeah. like 10 feet it, it eventually gets like pitch black but i don't know if it posted that far let's see you can see some golf balls yeah the, yeah the, yeah so you, so you really gotta dig through and like find them yeah you can't see them at all and this is like really great uh, good quality and like the visibility compared to other yeah. times. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. it'll just be pitch black. Damn, so is that is that a tube? Is that a tube going into? So that's that's your mouthpiece, and then these are your goggles right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that makes sense. You can kind of see my hood right there. Yeah. Let me. Oh yeah, this right here. Yeah. Yeah. That I look like a, like a con. I know. I, I, I know. Okay. I know I keep replaying this, but I just I keep a- accidentally clicking out of it instead of pausing. That's right. But I just want to see. Let's just watch the rest. Yeah, but that hose it attaches to my regulator, and that okay. attaches to my tank at the back. All right. Yeah, I, I see. So the regulator does that like strap on, or do you just hold that in your mouth? How does that work? I have to bite down. My my jaw gets super sore. At the end of the yeah. Day, cause, like you just have to clamp that down. Cause, like my friends, they have full face masks, but mm-hmm. I never liked them because. Um, uh, I didn't like the, the pressure difference. I guess I, yeah. I like, like having it right there, and like you can control it really easily. And yeah, like, have it, like it's more secure, I guess. What happens? But, what happens if you like if um you just like have a lapse in judgment, and you slip, and it falls out of your mouth? Uh, you actually have to train with that, like when you get certified. So like, say like you're like swimming around, and like it gets snagged on a branch or something, and yeah. like, it just falls out. So what you do is like you get your arm. And like mm-hmm. you swing up and back, like you're doing like a backstroke, like yeah. like a forward stroke, and then yeah. it'll get attached to your arm because like it attaches to the scuba tank, like right there. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. always on this so side. That's how you catch it. Yeah, so you just bring it up, and then it, it should be like somewhere over here, and then you can like put it back. Oh, in. okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Yeah. But so so it can just fall out of your mouth, and like you like like you don't like you can still like like you're like you're not going to get water in, in your, in your lungs or anything like that. Like you just kind of shut you your mouth. If you don't like inhale, like if, yeah. if like you go out, like you used to like, like spit it out. And just, yeah, get and in. Just, well, you and have then, to hold your breath until then. See, and then, yeah. you can, and then how do you put it back on once? You just bite onto it. Like it's like a mouth guard. 
like okay and then it just holds that. like it just it just creates a seal like yeah like you know how mouth guards like they have like the shape of your mouth yeah, yeah. Same, it like so it's like the regulator and then like it juts out in the shape of it and you just like, bite into it okay nice and That's then awesome. that creates like the seal where you like breathe into it yeah yeah dope That's so cool. It's so fun to watch. It's so satisfying. Just... I know. Yeah, that's all you hear. Just like the breathing. Does it get? Does it get? Uh, you get tired of hearing that after a while? It's like meditative. Yeah, it is kind of like it is kind of therapeutic. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's like it's pretty relaxing sometimes. Like sometimes, like you like hum like. This thing's not really right yeah i have like like a whole 15 minute video on my like it's in my phone but i didn't post it but dude put it on put it out on uh youtube or something or like instagram yeah. or i guess youtube because you can't put it on instagram but yeah, yeah put, youtube would be better put it put it on is there like is there like fish in it and like different stuff like um cool? one part that's cool is like it shows like the process so like yeah. it shows me putting all my stuff on and it shows me uh, revving the, uh, the compressor. Yeah. So I'm like, I have to like do all the switches and then like, yeah. And then everyone's connected, and then like you see everyone else in their gear and like, like you slowly sink in, and then after a couple of minutes, I go deeper into mm-hmm. the lake and then it just turns like pitch black. Yeah. And for it's like black for like five minutes. It's kind of yeah. boring, but you still hear like the. Right, so you're while it's pitch black, you're still picking up golf balls. I'm still doing the same thing, just. Oh, you're just so, so it's all tactile. You're just feeling for them. Yeah, pretty much. the whole time you just like the faster you move your arms and just just put them in there. Yeah, the more yeah. Money make. Yeah, exactly. Cool, man. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. But uh, dude, I'm I'm glad I had you on. You're welcome back anytime. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Sean Sean Rain. This unfortunately will be your last time. It's all right. The- John Agar. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. I know, I know that's what you want, motherfucker, but it's not what you're getting. But um, but yeah, um, this was this was an awesome episode. Thank you guys so much for 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 just hopping on and doing this. Thanks well, for having me. Yeah, yeah it's good I remember seeing us you again. talking about it. Yeah, you too. I remember us yeah. talking about it in, uh, in Dr. Hill's class. I was like, oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, Dr. yeah. Dr. Hill invited me. Like she like I was in her class and she was like, oh, Dom, can you like stick around and go into my private uh, WebEx calls? Like okay like, did i do something wrong yeah. and she actually invited me to uh like she picked me for like this company outside of rowan to oh, do a awesome. podcast to talk oh, about cool like the stuff. major and uh my experience at rowan so far and she that's like, cool oh, like, I, that's you know, awesome you know, like, oh, that's pretty cool did you do it yet uh, i'm still waiting on the email of the company oh, okay back to me but so this is my first podcast i was on but, yeah that's uh, that'll be my second good, so i'll experience yeah, this will be a good a good dry run yeah know, yeah and dude, you, you, you you held you held the whole show man you did great you told fucking cool stories you know what i'm saying thank you Pe- people i think people will definitely find it i'm definitely gonna clip out the that um story about you like having that close call because that was a, that's fucking that's cool yeah shit. you know what mm. i'm saying yeah feel free to include whatever yeah man i'll definitely thing, yeah, okay. i'll definitely ta- i'll definitely tag all you guys in it um so yeah i mean thank you guys for coming on this is awesome absolutely good seeing you guys yeah, yeah. Me too, man. A little, it's like a little high school reunion. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I'm saying, yeah. But um, are you guys all 21 now? Or I, no. am, I am still 20. Yeah, me really? too. I, I turned 21 a couple weeks ago. Oh, really? During the uh, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I don't turn 21. So hopefully, by the time I turn 21, uh, the bars will be back open. But I turned 21. Yeah, that's that yeah. like yeah. everything was closed. Like, hey, man, oh. you go to you go to the liquor store. I did. I, my birthday, do you believe I didn't get guarded? Nice. I went out and like, That's I, was, good. I could, yeah. I could yeah. have been here the whole time. I yeah, man. I think, I think I could walk in right now. Yeah, I mean, I you guys have, you guys have the stash and the, the mm-hmm. goatee going. You know, the so. facial hair. Facial yeah, hair. The facial hair aspect. That does a lot. Like, yeah. I, I got guarded the first time <laughs> the store like a couple of days ago. That's yeah. like the only place I've been going. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Liquor store, weed store, gun store is still open. <laughs> Yeah, all your all your necessities in life. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I've been going to the the butcher shop to make jerky a lot. 
Yeah. Dude. Oh, it's like something to do. This, yeah. This quarantine is crazy. Like, booze sales are up. Pot sales are up. Porn yeah. is up. All, every, everybody's just like, we're home. Fuck it. We're going to go yeah, crazy. Yeah, people are just trying to just pass the time. Like, I don't know if, if yeah. you've seen it on my Snapchat. Like, I literally – I showed my brothers the other day how to uh, get, like – how to harvest clay from the ground and turn yeah. it into a, like a pot. I think, yeah, I, I did see that. I think I have it. It was like ceramics? Or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I... Yeah, I showed them how to dig it up out of the ground and turn oh, yeah. it into clay and they made a little pot. That's cool as fuck. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Damn, man. I should... do. Tell, tell them to make me a, tell them to make me a, a peace pipe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah, um... Someone has yeah. the time. Yeah, for real. But um, yeah, yeah. This was an awesome show. Thank you guys so much for coming on. Um, for anybody who's still with us, I, first thing I just want to say is thank you. Uh, second of all, make sure you um follow my Instagram at John underscore underscore Egger, and then you can also follow the podcast Instagram Eggcast with John Egger, all one word. Uh, make sure you follow Dom. What's your Instagram? It's uh D O M four four five one nine. Yep. Like super memorable. Cool. It's Dom44519. And then, Sean, you have a new Instagram, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm I, back on. You, I don't have to put it out if you don't want, but... No, you can put it out. I don't care. Yeah, if everybody go follow go follow Sean Rain at Sean yeah. Prendergast underscore. That, once again, is Sean okay. Prendergast underscore. So, I made my I made a new Instagram, like, five days ago. And yeah. uh, I tried following people. And for whatever reason, they kept Instagram kept blocking me from following people like they thought I was a bot so I had to I had to send a report I said I'm not a bot I'm a human (laughs) being and then after like 24 hours they like fixed it I'm real yeah I I I think with new accounts if like you follow like a lot of people at once yeah they 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 detect that activity yeah so I had to switch it to business a business profile and then it worked yeah (laughs) because now like because now they're just like, oh, you think you're telling everybody, like, follow my shitty business. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, he's just another douchebag. So Entrepreneur. We'll we won't, we yeah. won't block him. Entrepreneur. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, um, yeah, fucking uh, <laughs> everybody, make sure you like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Uh, if you're on Apple Podcasts, um, make sure you subscribe. If, if you're on fucking Spotify, make sure you sub, all that stuff. Uh, if you're not on one of those, but you want to be on one of those, one of those other platforms, remember you can get this show on YouTube, Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts. That can all be found right in the in the link in Eggcast with John Edgar's Instagram or my personal Instagram. Um, and yeah, pretty much just you know have a great day. This is a tough time. We're all kind of stuck inside. I have know, a great like, quarantine. Yeah, we've yeah. all we've be all. Safe. Yeah, for real. We've all been antsy, but as long as we wash our hands and just keep our noses down, this should all, yes. should all pass pass soon. Soon, hopefully. I mean, it's fun. It's fun to watch th- these these mentally autistic politicians uh, <laughs> try to deal with this shit. When really, what we need is um is the like the disease investigators, like you know, like infectious disease experts and people like that to step up. But instead, we're 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 like, oh, let's send in the pol. Like we're watching the fucking the politicians, like. You know, I don't give a fuck about the election. I don't care who you vote, want to vote for. I just want us to be healthy. I want people to be able to do what they want, say what they want, fucking smoke what they want, drink what they want, eat what they want, fuck what they want, whatever. I don't give a Play fuck. Play to the free. Yeah, for real, man. Like I, I, and you know what? We're we're gonna get back to it. I see people outside, even though we're we're in quarantine right now. I still see people walking around. You know, there's a lot more camaraderie now. Like everybody's mm-hmm. just everybody's just happy to like to to talk be, to people to talk to people and be outside and like and like it almost feels weird because it feels like there's like a like a strain yeah. on on us to like go out like we're like 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 it feels like the government like it feels like your government's like taking over a little too much but you know they're doing it for the right reasons you know what i'm saying because like you're doing something wrong by going out yeah yes. exactly to do like it feels menial naughty. things yeah, yeah you guys like, think that rowan's gonna go is gonna stay remote back in the fall really, semester yeah really it's hard to tell not. Yeah, really I hope not. not. I, I feel yeah, like I hope not. Point. Like I like I'm tired of schools. Like like schools are. I feel like schools are still trying to act like they have the power. Like oh, make sure you sign up for this fall class on time and make sure you yeah. this and that. I'm like, bitch, the place isn't open. Like how are you gonna fucking like try to pressure me into paying you thousands of dollars to take classes on, on my computer? Like I feel like a fucking idiot. Like I'd yeah, rather like- <laughs> I'd rather spend I'd rather spend three to six months working a full time job and 
working on my passion projects. Yeah. And then, then, then doing, wasting my time than with, doing, uh, then taking fucking like classes that I'm never going to use in during yeah. the, rest of the rest of my career, you know, mm-hmm. like I've, cause I've been especially getting done a lot of gen eds and pre electives. Like I still have tw- tw- I'm a junior in college. I have 22 credits and fr- available and free electives. Like, like I have a lot of electives. I think I'm taking pottery my senior year. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's all take pottery together. That'd be cool. We, we, could, we could make a fucking yeah. we could make a fucking um bong, a fucking ceramic bong. <laughs> Are we sick? Yeah. yeah, that would be cool as fuck, actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, yo, um, thank you guys so much for coming on, and uh, thank you. I think, I think thank you. Thank thank you. Dom. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you, Sean. Thank you, Dom. Thanks, me. Thank Thanks, y'all. Um. <laughs> fucking i'll lead us into the outro so uh, yeah everybody just make sure you know like and subscribe on all the platforms you can listen on all the platforms by once again going to my instagram at john underscore underscore egger or eggcast with john egger all one word on instagram there's also an eggcast with john egger facebook page there's a twitter page somebody uh, really took the name john underscore egger so yeah how do you <laughs> yeah i have to use double underscore because how inconvenient <laughs> And and John Egger, all one word. I think, I think we're gonna get that guy. I think that's I think, I think that's one too. Yeah, we're gonna fucking get him. But um, <laughs> but but yeah, you know, peace, love, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll send send y'all out. You know, I hope you're having hope you're having a good week. Uh, hopefully, when this comes out, the quarantine will be uh, short, will be uh, closer to being almost finished than it is now. And yeah, peace, love, and just you know. Have a good, have a good week. Adios. See ya. Peace be with you.